What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, here where we continue our show uh, for the Wasabi Wallet, where we look into how this beautiful piece of technology actually works. Uh, and how we uh, st uh, stated yesterday, there is a new version, and I showed you briefly on how to verify the PGP signatures. I would just like to know in the next video add uh, one additional thing that I failed to mention is that when you download here, uh, for for example, the Debian package, the signature file, uh, that this contains a signature. But of course, beforehand, you need to know uh, if you trust that key that has signed the signature. So beforehand, um, go to the Wasabi wallet and the pgp.txt file where you can find the uh, PGP uh, public key from Nopara himself. So this is going to be this key that signs all the commits uh, and verify this across several different platforms. Maybe if you're really paranoid, uh, write a private message to Nopara or when you meet him in person, verify that this is actually his key. But you need to, to uh, have this key in your key ring or already imported uh, and put with the uh, corresponding trust level that you have. And then once you have done that, uh, you can use the command a GPG uh, with the flag verify and then the file of the um, ASCII dot, so, uh, or sorry, the file of the signature and then the file of the Debian package. And then when you run this command, you will see that with this key right here uh, that corresponds uh, to Nopara's public uh, key right here, his fingerprint, um, the signature uh, is valid. Um, it is a good signature. So it is uh, signed from Adam here. Um, and uh, therefore we can be certain that all the changes here to the code uh, have been authorized by Adam as long as his uh, key has not been compromised. Well, that is awesome, okay? But now, so to the very next important, very important issue, uh, and that is how can we c connect, for example, the noddle right here, this beautiful uh, Bitcoin full node, uh, how can we connect it uh, to the Wasabi wallet? Because according uh, to the release notes right here, it says that you can now uh, choose your own um, Bitcoin or that you can connect it to your own Bitcoin core version. And if you have Bitcoin core running locally on your laptop or on the computer, the same one that you use for your Wasabi wallet, then you don't have to do anything. Then Wasabi will automatically pull uh, the, the details from your Bitcoin core instance and it will automatically pull the blocks. Uh, however, if you are running on a dedicated, always on physical hardware device, like the Noddle, uh, or for example, the Raspberry Blitz uh, or the Casa Note, then you need to do following extra step in order to connect to your Noddle. Um, so first of all, you need to change the config file. Um, and that would be here on Linux. Um, so changing a text file would be the nano command. And then in the root folder, there's the hidden Wasabi wallet folder. And in the client folder, there is right here the config.json file. And that is the important file that we want to change. And it has right here uh, the different um, or many different cool uh, settings. Uh, first and foremost is right here um, how it connects uh, to the Wasabi server. So it can either try uh, over Tor with this uh, .onion link right here, or it can do ClearNet um, if you need to, right? And that is both for mainnet, for testnet, and for recnet. Uh, it also opens up to the Tor host that you have right here. Uh, but of course, now then here for the main net Bitcoin core host, this little IP address right here is what we have to change because we want to connect to the main net to the main net Bitcoin core node. And so we can change right here or we can copy the IP address that is used internally for your local node. Um, and we can maneuver with the cursor uh, to this specific line uh, and add here this IP address. Be really careful, especially with the Noddle. Um, if you have a Noddle, this part will be identical. So it is always going to be the 192.168.0 part of the IP. Uh, but the last portion here, that really depends on how many local uh, other devices are connected to your router. Uh, so always double check exactly what this, uh, what this number is for you. Um, and for the Tor setup, you don't have to do, or for the Bitcoin Core connection setup, you don't have to do anything else. That is this. 
Uh, so you can write out this file by pressing Control and O and then confirming that you actually want to uh, save this. And then you could theoretically exit this. Uh, just a quick little reminder uh, that you can also change the three different levels of anonymity set of the shield that you see in the Wasabi Wallet user interface. Uh, so I think the standard is that the, um, that the caution sign comes with an anonymity set of two, uh, the green sign comes with an anonymity set of 21, and the green sign with a check mark comes with the anonymity set uh, of 50. Uh, and I have changed these numbers to fit more accurately uh, how I would like uh, to uh, to reach or which anonymity sets I want to reach. Uh, and I thought uh, that uh, 16, uh, 64, and 128 uh, is a decent number here uh, for the easy graphical user interface automatic re-registering of UTXOs uh, until this privacy set is reached or anonymity set. And I think it's really useful. So if you want to change these settings while you're at it as well. Uh, but for this specific uh, tutorial on how to connect your own Bitcoin Core full node uh, to the Wasabi wallet, this is right here. Um, so we can now press Cont uh, Control and O uh, and uh, write this again and then Control X uh, to exit this. And this is it. Now the next time that we start the Wasabi wallet, uh, it will open uh, or it will connect to your Bitcoin full node. And you can verify this uh, in the logs file. Um, so the first time, so you, th th this wallet here will still communicate with the Wasabi uh, server and it will still download the Golom Rice filters for the quote unquote Neutrino style uh, client. So you will still receive block filters of all the most recent blocks. Uh, and then when you make a transaction with your Wasabi wallet right here, uh, then one of these block filters will trigger uh, a warning that it contains one of your addresses, one of your keys. And what so far has happened is that then the Wasabi wallet would pull from a random peer on the Bitcoin uh, network and pull on the ClearNet or I think over Tor uh, the, entire, um, the entire block data. And this step now is being changed to, uh, to your Bitcoin full node. So you will still communicate with the Wasabi server um, to get the, blue, uh, the Golom Rice filters. But then once you have it and once you know that this specific block uh, is of importance to the wallet that is imported in the, in the Wasabi client, then you will connect to your Bitcoin Core nodal um, right here. And then uh, it will pull the blocks very anonymous, uh, anonymously, very privately, and especially very data efficient. Uh, so you don't have to download the same block several times. Uh, so this was safe bandwidth as well. Um, we're not yet here at full Bitcoin Core integration. Uh, so as you know, the, the server now is still communicating the Golom Rice filters, which theoretically you don't even have to do. You could do the local indexing here on your local wallet or on your local um, node yourself. Uh, and that will be even better. And that will hopefully come in the near future as well. Uh, we never know. There's a lot of development coming. Uh, and if you want to contribute, please go to the GitHubs and there's a bunch of issues open. Um, so Piers, this is basically how you can connect uh, your own Bitcoin full node, especially one that is external uh, to the hardware where you're running the Wasabi client. Uh, so that is either the Noddle, which you can get on Noddle.it, uh, noddle or it is, for example, the Raspberry Blitz or the Casa node. Thank you very much for joining me here and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.